Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to create a highly converting email campaign. Alright, step zero is get some inspiration. I love to do this every time before I send an email campaign. Go to really good emails or mild.com. Those are some of my favorites, but you can find other email resources online and look at examples. This helps you grow. This helps you get ideas. This helps you get more creative. And I swear, if you do this every time before sending an email, over time, you're going to improve. We also have a lot of different templates inside of OmniSend, so you can get some inspiration from here. And you also have a good foundation to start from. Just look at this. This library is full of all kinds of templates, saving you time and effort. Now, let's get creating. So here we are in the Omnison dashboard. So let's go into the campaign section and let's click on create a campaign. Let's click on email. And now we are taken to the email information section, which is step one out of four, as you can see here on top. And let's start with the subject line. So we're going to use the generate subject line uh, generator in case you're looking for some inspiration. So let's say we're running a holiday sale. And let's generate a few subject lines or now in same limited time to do, do, do find great deals celebrate holiday sale now let's go with that one and i'm also going to add an emoji over here because that looks nice so general tips for this specific part is to keep the subject line up to 40 characters long you can include or you don't have to include an emoji but don't spam it too much it's either one or zero i would say maybe two but like at max all right if we scroll down a little bit below we can have the sender's name which is going to appear in gmail yahoo or whatever inbox is going to be sent to and here we have the sender's email address which you can choose if you have multiple of those so a pre-header is a text that follows the subject line so essentially if you have like a celebrate holiday sale over here, you can add limited time, only 50% off selected clothing. In this case, it, it would look like this. So this is the campaign name, and this is essentially only for internal use. So use whatever you like. If you leave it blank, it's going to just copy the subject line instead, which is what we're going to use in this case. So let's go to the next step. And here we are taken to the email template selection screen. And we have a lot of different templates. And if you're following along, you might have noticed something pretty similar in the form section as well. Although this one has a bit more templates to choose from. We have a lot of filters over here on the left and we're just going to choose the apparel email. Now, there, there's also a very cool feature over here, which you can preview the email before you actually select it so this is how it would look and i think it looks pretty good so we're just going to choose that all right and now we are taken to the email builder screen so if you are again following along this might look pretty similar to what we have in forms so the essentials are pretty much the same so you add things from the left side and you edit the email settings on the right side so let's go through the quick add options over here we have multiple elements to choose from and i'm going to show you a couple of them so let's for example we already have the text but let's add a text here you just click and drag it to anywhere you want and you just type in whatever you feel like uh, example te text in this case so you can choose the textile font line height size all these different things, you can just adjust it to your perfection, to whatever feels best to you. And now let's move on to the button. Essentially, email marketers, well, best friend. So you can just add it and align it as you see fit as well. So text, uh, let's say browse store, which is unconventional, but let's say that. And you can also add different parameters. So if you have already connected your store, which you should have, uh, you can add the website URL over here directly. And you can also change the buttons now. Now, since we're talking about buttons, we can actually go back and click on the buttons field here. So just like in the forms, you also have three different button options that you can choose from and adjust to your absolute liking. So this is what we have. 
Now there's also a lot of other different kinds of uh, elements over here that are not included in Quick Add. I will leave a link in the description for the save layouts, which is going to come in handy for you in the future. But for this one, we're just not going to touch it for now. All right. And now let's take a look on the right side over here. So this is the canvas width. Uh, which is essentially how big our canvas is, how, how wide it, it is. So we recommend using this because it looks best looking from the desktop and looking from the mobile device. So if you would go above that, that might cause some issues. And over here below, we have the background selection. And we have also recently added a neat little feature called background image. So if you feel like using an image in your background, feel free to use that. Otherwise, there's just a background color and a canvas color. Canvas is just this entire thing. But since, as you can see, this, this color is white. But in here, you can see that it's kind of um, sandy, I would say. Uh, it is because each block also has a color attached to it. Each layout, each block. I use those independently. So here you go. You can see the color over here. And that's pretty much for the right side. We have the left side, we have the right side. Now let's also just adjust the email a little bit and make it functional. Because while the template looks really nice, the email itself is not exactly like functional based on our requirements. So we're just going to adjust it a little bit. Let's start with the logo. So instead of it saying just your logo, let's replace it with our actual logo first. Here we go, much better. We can adjust the text if we like, uh, the, the copy itself, but let's just keep it as is for now. It looks kind of nice. And over here we have a product listing. So if we click on this block anywhere, we can just pick the products from our store and replace the image, the price and the link to a very specific product. So over here we have already a few of these items in your on our store so let's add this one and here you go you can see the image was replaced everything was replaced the title the description the price and even the link to it was also changed to that specific product and we can do the same for the beanie head so let's choose here elegant white dress beautiful and let's let me also show you how to copy so certain elements, certain layouts, certain blocks, if you feel like it, you can just click over here as I just did, and it would create an exact copy of that same block. So as you can see, each item in here has a separator over here. And so we're just gonna copy that and move it down with this arrow down. And let's also choose a different product over here. Hydrating facial mousse, sure. There you go. And now we have our product listings. Now let's also, we don't really have different colors at this time, so we're just gonna get rid of this. And to delete items, you can click over here. Click here, click here, and we click here. So this is what our email looks like, and it looks pretty much Done. All right, so it looks like we're pretty much done with the email, but just to make sure that everything looks good, let's also preview the email on the mobile version. So this is what the desktop users would see. Oh, you can even see the email size, which is fantastic because lower email size means the quicker it opens. And here we can see the mobile version as well. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. So always, always, always do a preview uh, test of your emails before sending them just to make sure that there are no mistakes. All right, we have adjusted the links, we have adjusted the template to fit our liking. So let's go ahead and save and choose recipients. Let's go to the next step. So as you can see here, this is step number three in the four step process. And here you can select what kind of segments you would like to send to. You do want to send to all subscribers or choose a specific one. So in this case, I'm just going to send to all subscribers, which I don't recommend you do. If you have a very huge list of subscribers, you should avoid doing that and segment your audience instead. But in this case, we only have 300 people in here. So let's just send it to all. Let's review campaign. And this is the very final step of the creation process. Now here you can see the campaign booster, which I'm not going to dig into in this video, but I will leave a description below for you to read and learn more about it. So here you can see the settings. 
you can see the recipients and you can schedule the campaign to be sent now or you can schedule it for later. So I think we're all set. So let's just send it now. Remember, the more emails you send out, the quicker you're going to learn and the quicker you're going to become a better marketer. I'll see you in the next video.